we've been lied to. The American people have been lied to, especially African Americans have been lied to. The Democrats are not for us. Our black people vote 96% Dem Democrat. That is ridiculous. That is low key true. That is low key true. Wow, this is getting deep, man. hashtag walk away video uh, first thing I just want to say is that we've been lied to we've been lied to we have been lied to the American people have been lied to and especially African Americans have been lied to oh my goodness <laughs> all right so this is my hashtag walk away video uh, first thing I just want to say is that we've been lied to we've been lied to we have been lied to the American people have been lied to, and especially African Americans have been lied to. Um, <clears throat> the Democrats are not for us. We, uh, black people vote 96% dem Democrat. That is ridiculous. No group in. I will say, bro, how could you say an entire group of people isn't for you, though? Well, no, I take that back because an entire group of people can be against you. But from when people say, like, the entire Democratic Party isn't for me, what do you mean by that? I want to know. Ever in history has voted like that? That is just ridiculous. Um, and those are these are the people that's doing the most harm to the black community. Uh, the Democrats are, are the party that founded the KKK. The Democrats are the party of the welfare system, which which hurt black people, <laughs> which hurt everybody. But it, it really destroyed the black community. They the ones that put drugs in the hood. Um, they're the ones that Joe Biden was the one that that did the um, the crime bill. Like it's it, it, the Democrats have never been for the people. They have never been for the people, and um, we've been lied to because the Democrats have their hand in a lot of stuff that affects our culture, like the public school systems. Um, they got their hand in Hollywood, and they own a lot of the mass media uh, platforms. And so, and that's one thing that I want to touch on, like. Um, I don't know if what he's saying is true. I don't, me personally, I'm not going to attack an entire group of people based on how they vote. I would never think that's right because I think when it's done to you, you're going to think it's wrong. So how could you do it to others? But when it comes to things like the mass media and not being able to say certain things um, that aren't harmful, but just against a specific agenda and you get criticized or bashed for that, that's where I have a problem. Um, and I've noticed that a lot in the past few years where people have wanted to say opinions that may be slightly off course with how the world is going. And next thing you know, they can't get a job or they can't find a gig or they lose all their followings on social media. And that's one thing I've noticed. I don't necessarily know where this is coming from yet. However, this has been becoming more and more prevalent as the world, I guess, is becoming more liberal. Really hard. It'd be hard to even think another way if you've never been if you've never been shown another way. And I think it's particularly interesting because a lot of black people are supposed to be Christians, but you're voting for the anti-God party. You're voting for oh. abortion, and you're voting for you know you're you believe in racism, and you believe that the you know white people hate you and you hate black people, and you and you you know you basically you you're supporting criminals, and it, it just doesn't make any sense. And wow. if you're a Christian, naturally, if you're a real Christian, you're supposed to be conservative. You're supposed to have that is you know, true. more God-like values. And that that right there is kind of true because I've noticed as a Christian myself, and I rock the wristbands every video. They should sponsor me. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel too. Um, that naturally, um, and I've seen a lot of comments saying this, that I, I do lean a little more conservative because that's what the Christian, some Christian values are just more conservative. But it's like you get bashed a little bit for that, too. And that's one thing that I've actually noticed um, happening where people get bashed for having Christian values. And that's where I kind of have a problem at because I get not, you know, not fitting in the, the standards of like society, the societal norms. But when you're bashing someone for having the beliefs of their religion, something they deeply like believe in that's a real problem and that's something that i've noticed becoming more and more seen and that's supposed to reflect in your voting but we our people have just been so demoralized and i see that now because um you know i had i have to walk away and really look at our culture because our culture is is destructive 
the African-American culture is completely destructive and they tell you that it's because of slavery, which just isn't true. They, you know, they got a thing called post-traumatic slave disorder. That's, it's just made what? up. It's just made up. It's just it's just a lie to coddle black people and to say, oh, you're a victim. It's okay if you go kill somebody. You're a victim. It's okay if you don't go to work. You're a victim. You're a victim, which is just a lie. And they're pushing this victim, this victim politics along with this identity politics. And it's just... It's just ridiculous and it's so destructive to the American culture. And um, my journey uh, particularly started when I moved in with my girlfriend and she was staying with me for a couple of months. And then we ended up move, both moving back into her apartment. And she had like a dorm style apartment and it was like two rooms connected by a bathroom. And they told her in the lease that it would be, if they were to put somebody in the other room, it'd be somebody of the same sex. So when we come back from my house, we moved back in and the first thing we noticed that okay it's somebody in the other room because you know they've been using the bathroom we can hear somebody over there and when we get in we see that whoever this person is look like they hadn't flushed the toilet in months uh it was Ugh. hair fall hair had fallen out falling out in the sink and in the tub and in the toilet and stuff and we was hearing you know we were Ew. assuming that it was a girl over there but we we would only hear a boy we would hear a deep voice through the wall. So we're like, okay, well, she has a she has a boyfriend over a lot. You know, I guess it's not a problem. So we realized that the girl that's over there is a man with breasts. So at this point, you know, she she's she's super uncomfortable, super uncomfortable, because I'm not going to always be there. So she writes an email to her landlord, oh and the goodness. landlord called her and said, yeah, we can't discriminate against this person. We can't move them out the room because... They and this is where it gets kind of weird. Because their answer was, we can't discriminate against this person. And that's completely fine. But however, you didn't ask the young woman in the room, is she okay with this or does she mind? Y'all just completely threw her into the situation. And that's something that is happening a lot in society. It's like, um, and I get it, you're allowed to choose like the life you want to live. I'm not saying that. But it's like, you can't just force people to do things that goes against the freedom that um we're granted in this in our country and i love america um so that's why i'm so passionate about this but you're not being able to force people to do certain things um and this is kind of a situation like that and you don't want to admit it but you are kind of pushing her into a situation that she may or may not agree with so that to me is not <laughs> that to me in itself is not fair as a girl or as a woman so instead they moved us out of the room that we were there first and moved us down the hall to a smaller room for the same amount of rent so that's when we really started to question a lot of stuff like what is what is going on why is something like this happening why is this allowed to happen so we started looking into the wormhole of like conservative speakers and we came across matt walsh first and he was really talking about it a lot. And we're just like, wow, this man is talking about exactly what's going on. This is exactly what's going on. So why is this happening? And then you come to realize like, wow, these so-called Democrats is kind of crazy. Like these policies are literally extreme. So wow. we, um, we just got deeper down the wormhole. We came across Ben Shapiro. We seen uh, videos of Ben Shapiro owning people all the time, but we didn't know who Ben Shapiro was. So now we got more context. Like, oh, this, this is why he owned people because he, he got facts. He got logic. He got some type of common sense. And these people that he's talking to don't. And, you know, you come to realize the, the true origin of the, uh, the the Democratic Party, the party of the KKK, the party of slaves, the party of control and power, um, the Communist Party. And the Democrats, have been, um, the Democrats have been infiltrated by the communists. And that's oh. why they funded movements like the Black Lives Matter, um, and the, the the women's march matter, you know, all this, the feminism and the misogyny and the, and the abortion and the black power, all that stuff. That's just all communist thinking because. It's wow, this is getting deep, man. One thing I want to touch on that he said earlier in this video was he was talking about the, because the reason I'm bringing it back up now is because he's talking about black lives matter and all stuff. And he talked about like the destruction or something of the black community or how the black community is destructive. And. I don't agree with the black community being destructive because there's a lot of good things in the black community. However, I will say that our community is one community that I see in like mainstream media um, being made a mockery. And what do I mean by this? 
is that we when you look at the runway shows or the or the Grammy Awards or the VMA Awards or the BET Awards, it's always something crazy that happens of someone um, of my culture or my community. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because some of the things we're known for, such as rap music or um, that's probably not, or like some of our athletes, stuff like that, the 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 biggest things we're known for were made a mockery in some of the things that by the way that our people act and when that happens it's like wow why are these people still being pushed in mainstream because they're literally mocking it's like they're mocking us it's like they push this person to the highest level so they can make fun of us or clown us and that's something that i've noticed becoming more and more seen like we go from people like you know denzel washington being the main person or even someone like drake being the main person to having the most vile rappers being pushed even more today it's kind of weird but you know to each his own america anti-man anti-god and if you're a christian you shouldn't stand for that you just simply shouldn't stand for that because it's it's contradictory to your belief if you're a true christian or if you're you know of any any you know faith that it's just anti-god so it's, it's really interesting to see that that our people have just just basically just been fooled they've been fooled in mass and it's ridiculous to see this happening and i just i just don't i don't get it you just don't get it so i had to walk away from the democratic party as I came to uh, know the truth and, you know, I, I truly accepted Jesus Christ into my heart and he allowed me to see that, you know, we've been lied to. Um, African-Americans have been lied to. You know, they that first it came, it, first it was, oh, we were kings in Africa. Then they came and stole us. They came and, you know, took our people and, and did this to our people and stuff. And that's just a lie. It's just a lie. We, we got, we were slaves in Africa. And then uh, A-Raz came and sold us to the four corners of the earth and the Europeans bought us. That's, that's simply what it was. And, Wow. That that that's just lie number one, and then the next lie is like, oh, because you were slaves, and because the white man is bad, you know, you can't be racist. So you can pretty, it's pretty much free game on white people. You can, bro. That is low key true. That is low key true. One thing I've noticed is like this victim mentality. It's like it, it's a lose lose situation for everybody because not only are you holding yourself back, you're hurting others in the process. By saying, oh, we can't do that. Oh, we can't do that. Who are you helping? Like, you, you're you just justifying being able to do whatever you want. That's that's really it. Uh, call him whatever, you know, bully him. All type of stuff. Because you can't be racist, you're a victim. And I just didn't, I, I don't identify with that victim mindset. Like, I didn't understand that the man was holding me back. Considering I lived around black people. And the person that was most likely to do something to me was, was black. Like 14% of the population is committing 50% of the murders. It has nothing to do with slavery. It's it's just it's ridiculous. And these people, it got my people under this this psychosis, and it's 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 amazing that that these people are just they're, they're drinking the Kool Aid, and then they look at they look at a, a black conservative as if we're crazy, and they'll call you an Uncle Tom and all that stuff. And this it's it just doesn't make any sense. It's just literal projection from the left. And, and like when you get into politics and a lot of these people talk in politics and they not even in the politics that's they just saying what they've been told you just you just don't like donald trump you just think any conservative is right any republican is racist off that you just think that anybody that's white is racist that's, that, it's just not true it's just not true and now people got to stop believing in it so i decided to walk away and you know i had to yeah man a lot of what he's saying it holds a lot of truth in it like a lot of the beliefs that you know I had about, you no, know, I wouldn't even say me personally because um, I'm still kind of young. I don't really have many beliefs in these areas. But a lot of things I've heard, they really had no justification. They were just I was just told these things and I was expected to believe them. I was they weren't my own opinions. I was just told a lot of things. And now that I'm you know actively searching opinions, I've had people who told me I was wrong, not wrong, but like who have unsubscribed from my channel just for watching videos like this. And I, I y'all watch my videos if you stay this far. I don't believe in having to, like, I don't voice a real, like, deep one-sided opinion. I just watch them. And, you know, it's like you get punished for trying to learn about this stuff. But anyways, 
you have any suggestions for me, comment down below. So far, those are not the only